Hi, I'm Allison. This is my vlog six, and this week we were tasked to read chapter four and chapter six in Rhetoric Acts, and also two essays in Reading Pop Culture. So the first thing in chapter four was kind of talking about resources of evidence. Um, in the past week, we were talking about pathos, logos, and ethos. Um, in this half, we learned about other methods of resources of evidence, and some methods could be using statistics, um, visuals, analogies, showing expertise or authority in the topic, or stories. Um, these are all methods in which it can benefit evidence and show credibility. Um, in chapter five, it was resources of arguments and kind of goes through what are needed in arguments and in basic essay to persuade a reader. So the first thing that is needed is a claim, so just something that you assert, and then you need reasons to back up your claim, and then issues, so what issues arise to give you the claim, then questions on policy. Also, enthymemes was also part of resources of arguments, and it's just the evidence of emotion, the evidence of emotion to another person, and I thought that was a very interesting topic out of all the topics, just because I've never heard that word before, and it was interesting to learn more on it. Um, then the next thing we had to do was read the two different essays from reading pop culture. So the first essay that we had to read was from Char Charpentier. And Charpentier's essay was talking about just how TV was better than movies. And he first tackled on the point on how HBO made television rather than movie and kind of changed their perspective of how their subscription worked to kind of entice people to pay for their subscription and just be a different form of platform and from there on he kind of touches on other tv shows and how other tv shows are more successful than movies but his evidence didn't necessarily go very in depth with every single TV show he was talking about and he kind of just briefly mentioned some TV shows as examples but it didn't seem very credible just because he didn't dive deeper in it and kind of elaborate as much. Then the second essay that we read was from Flanagan and it was just about how to be or to be an unlikable character. He really talked about the Mindy Project show and how the first season was a bust just because the Mindy Project, the main character, she tried to perceive herself as very relatable to a normal human being and likable, but soon after realizing it, she noticed that people don't like somebody or they're not enticed to watch something that is relatable and that she had to make her character a little bit more unlikable to kind of grab the attention of the audience and they also use other evidence just like um parks and rec Nes leslie nope and how leslie nope had a really good reception from audiences because well i also watched um parks and rec and so i know that in the show leslie nope wasn't necessarily a relatable character or a, that much of a likable character just because she was kind of different from your normal person and she wasn't that relatable um but I did. other than that um i thought his evidence was a lot more clear and a lot more credible just because with all the shows that he mentioned and all the characters he dove deep into interpreting them and kind of using it to justify his claim that unlikable characters were more likely to have a better reception from audiences than a likable and relatable character. So overall, I thought Flanagan had a better take on evidence and how he utilized it, and I thought that he utilized it in good ways and that he definitely utilizes like resources of evidence in his essay. 
Thank you. That concludes my vlog.